Hi everyone, this is E Enormous with Tech Defense, and today on Tech Tip episode 27, we're going to talk about a new tool I created called Hash Collect. This episode of Tech Tip is brought to you by the SANS Institute. Use code SECUREABIT underscore TECH5 for 5% off any course in any format at SANS.org. All right, guys, so before we get into the episode today, I just want to do a couple quick announcements. Uh, the first is that some of you probably have already uh, seen, I now do um, some blogging and I also do some videos for securebit.com. Um, so Secure Tip episode one just aired on April 4th, and that was our, our first one there, and I plan to do a weekly video uh, there as well. Um, the Secure Tip, what makes it different from the Tech Tip, uh, besides the name, is it's a shorter format, so you're looking at uh, the five to ten minute uh, version versus the sometimes up to an hour we get on Tech Tip episodes. Um, so yeah, make sure you go to securebit.com and check that out uh, as I will be over there now. Uh, don't get worried, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing what I'm doing on Tech Defense. Uh, in fact, uh, I plan to even more content on Tech Defense as well. So yeah. Uh, so with the announcements over, let's get into what we're going to talk about today. And uh, it's going to be a new tool that I, I just created about 15 minutes ago called Hash Collect. And uh, I, I didn't spend a whole lot of time writing this, but basically what, what the deal is, is you give this a URL with a tag U or a file with a tag F, and it'll parse through that URL or file to find all MD5 hashes uh, contained in there. Now the reason I created this is uh, if you guys haven't heard already, um, the anonymous uh, Op Israel thing is going on right now, and because of that, uh, they're releasing a, a, a ton of dumps that you know, a ton of uh, password dumps that are occurring. Uh, to give you an idea, um, using the Paste Alert system, which I use, um, I have a search, as you can see here, that looks for the MD5 for 1,2,3,4,5,6. So this is 1,2,3,4,5,6 in MD5 version. And uh, what this does is every time there's a password breach with the MD5 hash for 1,2,3,4,5,6, I get an email on it, and uh, then I can go and grab the content out of there. Well, this is the content for the last 24 hours. So as you can see, this is a lot. Uh, and this is a lot more than I usually see. So on a typical day, you're looking at you know one to three, and uh, we've had I think 17-ish in the past uh, 24 hours or so. So uh, there's a lot of content, and uh, you know in previous tech tip episodes I showed you you know how to um, how to use the cut command in Linux to pull out what you need. I've also showed you how to regex with Notepad. Uh, Notepad++ to pull out the MD5s that you want when you want to, you know, if you want to get it for cracking passwords to build up your word list, uh, whatever you want to use these for. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I mean, these are some real live uh, hashes that we want to get. Uh, and I showed you how to do that previously, but frankly, it was just too slow. Um, and I'm sure there's already tools out there that do this. Um, but I went ahead and created an, uh, a new one. So uh, t for those of you who are Python savvy, here's what I'm doing. So these are uh, adding the arguments for the, uh, uh, for the, uh, the options for the script itself. So that oh, this is what allows you to do the tack u, the tack f, the tack o. Um, and if it is args.url, so if somebody puts in a tack u, do this. Uh, I'm sorry, in this I'm saying if there is no URL or no file, just print the help because the person hasn't put in the required options. But here's where we get into args that output. Well, if we want to output it to a file, file, here's the code that makes that happen. If we want to read a file, that's the code that makes it happen. If you want to read a URL, that's the code that makes that happen. So let's uh, show you this real quick. So I have some files are ready, and let's make this a little larger for you. And let's go with cat hashes. 
So here is a file that I have that has some hashes in there. Now it doesn't have just hashes, as you can see, it has a whole bunch of other stuff as well. But I don't want that other stuff. I just want the hashes out here so I can do whatever I want to do with those hashes. Right? So let's run hash collect tac f and give it that file name hashes. And what's it going to do for us? It's going to output just the hashes, uh, one hash per line, which is the accepted format for most tools. So, um, say we didn't want to, uh, we didn't have a file that we wanted to pull it out from. Uh, we had a URL that we wanted to pull it out from. Well, let's grab one real quick, and we'll go with uh, this one. So we have this paste bin. And let's go back here. So let's hash collect. Now we're going to use the tack u option to choose the URL. Paste in that URL. And when we hit it, it's going to go through and then it's going to pull out, just like the last one, all the hashes from that URL. And as you can see in this one, there is a ton of them. So Now, uh, obviously, you might not just want to print it out the screen. So if you want to be able to pull it off from wherever, uh, or put it in a, a file, we give it the tac o in addition to your tac u and tac f, and we give it a file name that we want to give it. So in this one, we'll just say, I am a test output. So you can see it's telling us hey, it's going to print the results to this file. I am test output. Let's cat that file to see if it actually did it. And it did. So as you can see, uh, I mean, not a whole lot of options here. It's pretty straightforward, um, but it gets the job done. So really cool tool. Uh, check it out, especially if you're trying to uh, practice your cracking skills or build up your word list. Um, you know, grab these and and. Uh, or grab this script and it'll make your job a lot easier. In addition to what you're seeing here, some things I, I think would be cool for this and uh, talk to at Zoned, our, our other tech defense writer, a bit as well. And uh, you know he has some really good ideas here too for, um, you know now we've got these hashes, check them against some online uh, crack databases to see if they've already been cracked and if they have, what password they're associated with. Um, you know That'd be cool. Uh, of course, uh, maybe making a, a little framework around this where we can uh, then uh, you know, pull in things other than MD5. We can pull in you know, uh, SHA, uh, whatever type of hash uh, you want. And then, of course, maybe store it all in a database and make a little web front end for it so you can uh, view and manipulate it uh, in, a, uh, in a web format. So that's kind of what's planned here, but uh, I hope you like it. Like always, if you uh, like this video, please give it a like in YouTube. That helps out a lot. And of course, you can uh, follow me on Twitter at, at Tech Defense. Um, you can also hit me up at the normal places. Uh, so techdefense.com, securebit.com, YouTube, the whole spiel. And if you want to email me, that's the enormous at tech. Defense.com. Alright, thanks guys.